Hello, my name's Peter Young and I'm the Product Line Manager for Sandvix Ground Support Products. You may have seen our other presentation from our Vice President of Bolting and Cutting, Craig Johnson, about the challenges of modern mining and how we at Sandvik meet these challenges with innovation, like with the MDX bolts. In this presentation, we're going to go through what the MDX bolts are capable of, as well as talking about how it can be tested in your mine with an engineer designed drop test rig. This rig means that we can come to your mine, test these bolts in the real life environment and show you what they're really capable of. So when we talk about how it performs, you don't have to take our word for it. So this is the 47 millimeter MDX bolt. It can be installed with a 43 to 45 millimeter bit size. Its typical tensile strength is 210 kilonewtons. Yield strength is 180 kilonewtons. The dynamic capacity of this rock bolt sets it apart, absorbing up to 30 kilojoules of impact energy with a typical 120 millimeters of displacement. With a maximum wedge expansion of 60 millimeters and a calculated shear strength of 246 kilonewtons. Here we can see an installed MDX rock bolt and we're watching the heave and swell of a simulated seismic event. You'll notice the disconnect at the collar. This allows the rock bolt to yield over the entire length of the rebar. This absorbs the releasing energy and provides better support in poor, weak and seismic ground conditions. We see on the graph here, load versus displacement, showing the MDX bolt setting the bar with standing 30 kilojoules of impact with a typical displacement of 120 millimetres. At Sandvik, we know we have a great product, but to prove that to our customers, we've undertaken extensive third-party testing with SWERM, the Swedish Metals Research Institute in Lulia, Sweden. All third-party testing reports are available upon request, but at Sandvik, we wanted more. And so, Sandvik has developed an engineered design drop test rig that can be taken to the customer's mine and prove the capabilities of these rock bolts in the real life environment. So let's take a look at this rig. So we have a dynamic collar that's installed with the rock bolt. The claws clamp around this collar and these claws house the load cell and accelerometer for collecting the data. Then we have the drop rod, which is typically over 1.7 meters drop distance. And then we have the drop mass, which can vary, but can go up to two ton of weight. And at the bottom, we have the load plate and nut. Now, if we take a look at these drop test results and how they cluster together in the graph, the orange crosses are representative of the MD bolt, the original bolt, which is a better bolt for squeezing and swelling type ground conditions, while the black crosses represent the 47 millimetre MDX bolt. And you'll see how concentrated these results really are, giving us a consistent result of 25 to 30 kilojoules with only 161 millimetres of displacement. Then we have the blue crosses, which represent the new 39 millimetre MDX bolt, also showing great results. This dynamic bolt sets the new benchmark in seismic ground support. With the first ever in situ drop test method, this rig is fully portable and transportable to your mine site, all fully calibrated components, testing the mine's ground support in a real life environment. And this testing procedure is designed to simulate a seismic event with a variation of input energies up to 35 kilojoules. This rig can also test other types of bolts, including other types of friction bolts and resin or grouted bolts. So here it is in action. As the load mass drops, that can be up to two ton of weight impacting on the rock bolt. And here we see the displacement in this instance is approximately 120 millimeters. We were initially asked by sites to test the MDX bolt up to 25 kilojoules with no more than 300 mil of displacement. But the MDX bolt outperformed that by a long way. The MDX bolt can handle up to 30 kilojoules of impact energy with a maximum displacement of 161 millimetres and a typical displacement of 120 millimetres. It continually exceeds site requirements and has set the new benchmark in seismic ground support. It's a truly universal rock bolt for weak, broken or strong and seismic ground conditions. It's very quick and easy to install by jumbo or rock bolter. There are no resins or grouts to use with these bolts, making the meshing cycle so much quicker. It yields absorbing the load, mitigates the impact, and reduces the time spent on rehabilitation. And it's fully galvanized for corrosion protection. So what are you waiting for?